Now let me introduce the concept of mutually exclusive events to you. What are they? Mutually exclusive events. They are events that cannot happen at the same time at all. So for example, I'm just going to use uh, the standard deck of 52 cards without uh, jokers. I'm going to assume that you're familiar with, uh, with the deck. And I'm going to call event H drawing a heart from a single. I'm going to shuffle the deck, pull a card, and event H would be drawing a heart or a card from the heart suit. And event B is going to be drawing a black card. from the standard deck of 52 cards. These events would qualify as mutually exclusive because they have no overlap at all. You can't pick a card that would be a black heart. Hearts are always red, of course. So what is the probability of drawing a heart? Well, there are 13 hearts out of 52 cards. What about black cards that are, uh, well, there are 26 black cards out of the 52. So these events are completely mutually exclusive. They cannot happen at all. So the probability of H and B is zero. And that defines a mutually exclusive event. If you have two events and the probability of one and the other is zero, they're mutually exclusive. But what about the probability of H or B? So what this means is that basically, what does H the or mean? We're either gonna have what is the probability of getting either a heart or a B? In this case, if and only if they're mutually exclusive events, we can go PH plus PB. because there's no overlap between them. So that'll be 13 out of 52 plus 26 out of 52. So the probability of drawing a heart or a black card will be 39 out of 52. And that's it, which is, by the way, 3 quarters. It simplifies to 3 quarters. But now let's talk about events that are not mutually exclusive. Um, and I'll just still use H. Let's say drawing a heart. And this is, of course, just drawing one card from a well shuffled deck of 52 cards. And event uh, F will be drawing a face card a jack, a king, or a queen from the standard deck. And again, I'm assuming that. All you guys are familiar with the deck of 52 cards. If you're not, you can Google it. Okay, so now here, here's the fun thing. These events are not mutually exclusive because you can draw a face card. Oh, I, I wrote heart here. I'm sorry. I meant face card. Let's continue. So you can draw a, f a heart, right? A, a card of the heart suit that is also a face card because there is the jack of hearts, the queen of hearts, and the king of hearts. So there are three cards out of the 52 that are both hearts and face cards. Uh-huh. What about, what can I put here? Will I just put all face cards here? No. I will have to, right here, this area, whatever we put here, will represent face cards that are not hearts. And there are nine of them. Because there are three in each suit, right? Clubs, spades, and um, diamonds. And there are three face cards each. So three times three, nine. 
What about here? Here I'm going to write the probability of drawing a heart that is not a face card. And how many are there? Well, usually, well, there are 13 hearts, so I can subtract the 3. So there are 10 hearts that are not face cards. Okay, so now a very important formula that I'm going to write down here. What if I want to know the probability of a heart, of drawing a heart, or a face card? Now that is the probability of drawing a heart plus the probability of drawing a face card minus the overlap, the probability of a heart and a face card. So otherwise, if we were to just, because let's say this is P of H, right, is 13 out of 52. P of F is 12 out of 52. If we were to add these, we would be considering the overlap twice. So we need to subtract the overlap, which is 3 out of 52. And if we add them all up, we're going to get 22 out of 52, which is the probability of getting either a heart or a face card, or, of course, both at the same time. Does this make sense? Well, if I, another way that I can figure this out, P, H, or F, will be just by adding all these components. So 10 plus 3 plus 9 is 22, all over 52. And that represents P, H, or F. Drawing a heart or drawing a face card. Now I will suggest that you scroll down, try some questions, click on them to watch the videos, click on the questions to watch the videos, and good luck.